Welcome to Hello Baltimore County. I'm your host, Ellen Kobler. Have you heard of Chautauqua? It's an adult education and cultural movement in the United States that started in the late 19th century along the shores of Chautauqua Lake in upstate New York. Well, you can indulge in a wonderful Chautauqua program right here at the Community College of Baltimore County in Catonsville. Here to tell us about this year's program called Sporting Life are Patty Crossman, Chair of Performing Arts and Humanities at CCBC, and Phoebe Stein, Executive Director of the Maryland Humanities Council. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you. What a pleasure. Thanks. Sure. So, Patty, I'm kind of excited. Tell us a little bit more about what Chautauqua is. Yes. Well, uh, as you said, Chautauqua did begin on the shores of Lake Chautauqua in New York. It actually began as a training program for Sunday school teachers in 1874. Um, later on, it became a part of li the Lyceum movement, uh, which brought entertainers and lecturers to small towns all across the nation. Around 1920, it did die out. But in 1970, uh, state humanities councils across the country revived it. And in 1994, the Maryland Humanities Council began to offer these programs. Very nice. And would, would one of you like to tell me a little bit about some previous programs? Well, you Thanks know, we're, we're 20 <laughs> years strong here at the yeah. Maryland Humanities Council doing Chautauqua. We have had themes around food. We've had themes around work. We've had themes around the American Civil War. We did a special, uh, a few years ago, a special session on the War of 1812 uh, performances from, these are living history performances, so they're, they're historical figures that come to life. And so the idea is that it's somebody who is dressed, you know, very authentically mm -hmm. and is portraying the person. So you're not just yes. kind of hearing a lecture. You, you feel like you're actually seeing this person describe their life. Exactly. And then you can speak to them in character. And then a few minutes after that, at the end uh -huh. of the performance, you get to speak to the actor scholar about how they created this character, oh, really? this historical figure. Yes. That's kind of neat. Um, I kind of get the impression that this really is a very unique program. Patty, how, how does it fit in with some of the other things that you do and its uniqueness? Well, the, the big thing I think that makes it unique is that it takes place over three evenings. It's a multi-evening uh, uh, event. Um, also, as Phoebe mentioned, um, the format is very interesting. Um, before the um, actor scholar appears, we have uh, a musical act that features music uh, and interesting entertainment from the time of that historical character. Isn't that neat? And, and, and I love that, as you said, it's th this year it's sports. Previously you did Jackie Robinson. So it's not just kind of the, the normal history that revolves around the politics of the day. No, mm -hmm. not always. It can be yeah. really any, any notable American uh, who, you know, people are interested in and want to find out a little bit more about. Very nice. Um, Phoebe, what can you tell us about this year's program, The Sporting so, Life? So, Sporting Life. So, we're going to be back at CCBC. We're very excited about this partnership, and we're going to be back on the Catonsville campus. We were in Dundalk last year due to construction, but we're happy to be back in Catonsville July 10th, 11th, and 12th, 7 o'clock. And word we should mention a lot is it's free. Oh, free really? to everyone. Yes. Well, isn't that interesting? So, nice. I can tell you that we're going to have three wonderful characters. We are bringing Babe Ruth back to Maryland. <laughs> yes. uh, the Sultan of Swing, right? <laughs> so someone who was born in Baltimore, uh, but spent his life just one year as an Oriole, and then I believe as a Boston Red Sox, and then of course his career with the Yankees. So we're very happy to be having Babe Ruth. Uh, also Wilma Rudolph, uh, an amazing African-American Olympian who won three uh, gold medals in the Olympics in track and field, who survived and thrived after infantile paralysis due to polio. So an amazing story. Yeah. And then our third Fabulous. Jim Thorpe, who has Native American history, was called by some the greatest athlete uh, in the world. Uh, he played football, but also track and field star, uh, just uh, just an amazing athlete and very multi-talented. So that's going to be another very fascinating story. All right, well, I may ask you for some more details in a minute, but Patty, okay. how, um, how do people get more information about Chautauqua? Really, the best way is to go to the Maryland Humanities Council uh, website, which is www.mdhc.org. They have a wonderful description on their website. 
very nice. So tell us <clears throat> a little bit more about um, about Jim Thorpe, the called the greatest athlete in the world. Yes, as I understood, he was raised in a Native American uh, school, so he was educated on a reservation, I believe, um, and uh, then went on to a football career. So, but he was also uh, an Olympian himself mm -hmm. uh, in track and field, as I understand. So, and I'm I'm excited to learn more. It's not someone I was familiar with, uh -huh. so we learn so much at the Maryland Humanities yes. Council by bringing these uh, wonderful actor scholars in. Very nice, and apparently um, Jim Thorpe had some of his um, his medals stripped from him because I guess he accidentally got yes. paid for playing baseball one time. Yes, <laughs> yes, I, I think I think that's right. Those were restored to him, however, oh, later God. in life, <laughs> as I understand it. Yeah, the idea is that these are stories of sporting figures, mm -hmm. but they're also historical figures. And at the Maryland Humanities Council, we want to make sure that history is relevant to everyone's you know everyday life. Uh, so enjoyable, but also historical. Well, sure. I mean, with, educational with, with Wilma. Ruth Rudolph, talk about coming, uh, overcoming adversity. You said right. she had polio. She also had mumps and, and I believe a number of other childhood illnesses. Uh, and by the time she was in her teens, I believe they, she had a track coach who noted uh, how skilled an athlete she was mm -hmm. uh, and then went on from there, but truly overcoming uh, an amazing odds to get yeah. where she did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course, our own Babe Ruth. We've got the uh, museum down in downtown mm -hmm. Baltimore, mm -hmm. so I'm sure there's a lot of uh, baseball fans that will want to come out and hear more about his um, his personal life and yeah. his real background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got any more tidbits about him? Well, <laughs> um, uh, spent some time in an orphanage actually here in Baltimore. Oh, really? So uh, he uh, was raised under difficult circumstances and uh, of course then grew to great fame, but also uh, had, had many circumstances to overcome as a young person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and give your pitch about uh, people coming to Chautauqua this year. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we do invite everyone to come on one, two, or three evenings. Um, the events are all held on the Catonsville campus in the Center for the Arts Theater. It's air conditioned, it's accessible, we have brand new beautiful lights. Mm -hmm. We hope everyone will come. Very nice. Well, thank you both so much for joining us to tell us all about Chautauqua 2015. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you, Ellen. Really appreciate the opportunity. Sure. And thank you for watching Hello Baltimore County. Don't forget, you can keep up with uh, Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenetz and local county issues in general by connecting with Baltimore County government on Facebook and Twitter. And stay with us. We'll be right back with Hello Baltimore County.